Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 61 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Mode where I'm cooking up Ostrom. Booyah. Uh, between episodes, did a little bit of uh, tidying and cleaning up. Uh, I, I cleaned up this area a smidge, added soul sand to it, which is just soul soil. Uh, so pretty easy to automate. And then uh, decided to stop processing sand and toss in soul sand instead. So just changed out the filter on the laser I.O. Uh, so that I could start, you know, collecting some quartz. We're like pretty overflowed on glowstone and redstone and sulfur and all that stuff. So I figured, eh, not a big deal. I could, I could swap out a little bit of sand for the time being and build up a good supply of quartz and maybe a few other things. Uh, this is about all you get from soul sand. So just one more drawer added to the system. Um, and then in the meantime, I've been prepping for what I want to do next, which I think is applied energetics. So... On my to-do list up here is all the AE things I will probably need. Now, the one downside, the one minor inconvenience is the Quantum Bridge card. That is a little bit of a problem. And the problem being that, uh, yeah, that. Uh, it requires stabilized fire and calorite space plating, uh, which requires, as you probably guessed, calorite. Um... Dimensionally attuned calorite plate, huh? Well, that's cool. Liquid methane and resonant ender gas and calorite plates and calorite ingots and all the calorite things. So, in other words, Venus. Uh, so, if you want to go and get a infinite range cross dimensional AE system, you're going to need to hit up Venus first. But that said, I can still get a wireless AE system with like the standard wireless boosters. It just won't be cross dimensional. So, here's what I'm thinking of doing. I th I think I might be able to still use this thing. Um, so, like, let's talk about our dimensional stabilizers. Like, currently I've got a tier 2 sitting here, which is which is still pretty doable. Just need silver and gas and spirit attuned gems, which is easy peasy at this stage for me, right? Uh, and the tier 1, I've heard, has been a little bit tweaked, but to me right now, still relatively easy peasy. What's tier 3 looking like? Tier 3... Da -da. I can make that easily. Uh, not. I can get one of these, right? Like, I could probably pull that off. Yeah. Uh, and then Spirit of Two Gems is uh, not terrible. It's an enchanting apparatus, huh? Okay, cool. Today I learned. Didn't, that might be different. Okay, but still, not, not, not impossible, right? Uh, not impossible. Totally doable, right? And then finally, Tier 4 Dimensional Stabilizer requires a pair of those and some Eznium and a Dragon Head. Okay. Well, the Dragon Head will probably be a little bit of a challenge. But um, aside from that, probably could do with a few Tier 3s, which I think would get me lots and lots of storage slots here. So I think I can attach the AE system to this guy. And then my thoughts are thus. If we, if we set this up properly, I could have both. I could have the AE system hooked into the occultism system for storage, right? And then we wouldn't need to rush into making storage disks. We would just attach a storage bus to the occultism thing. Then uh, I can use my wireless crafting terminal and we can set up auto crafting with applied energistics too, right? So we can get, uh, you know, some of, uh, we'll probably go with some 4Ks, right? And some coprocessors, right? And then we can get some U and U, right? And that could be cool. Does that sound like a plan? It feels like a plan. Does it sound like a plan? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, we're obviously going to need some cables and some P2P and all that good stuff. So um, that seems cool. The other thing I might want to get going today, or at least try out, is the is the flight mechanic from Ars Nouveau. Uh, everybody's been yelling at me in the comments to get that going. So um, what do we have here? Ars, we got something, a tablet of flight. Uh, consume grants nearby players the flight effect when they jump, allowing them to creatively fly for a short time. If the player is nearby, this ritual will refresh their flight buff. Each time this ritual grants or refreshes flight, it will expend source from nearby jars. Good to know. Um, so we could... We could do something along those lines, right? Uh, that could be fun. Should we try it? I mean, sure. We could set that up. We could do that. Uh, now, we will need to set, like, some kind of auto-source setup thingy. Because we want to figure out, like, where I want to put this. Like, where would flight make the most sense? Because basically, if, if we look at the map, that might be a good way. This is roughly centered. I don't know what the range of this flight ability is going to be. So what I'm thinking is, like, we set up the ritual, right? We snag a jar. We'll kind of put it in the middle of our base. 
and we'll see what we see, right? Um, I should set up a drawer system for this stuff is what I should do. Because, like, I keep backstuffing on stuff. And, yeah, I just dump it into my cultism system eventually. But it would be smarter to do something like this. I'm just saying. All right. So, yeah, maybe we set up, you know. Uh, now, now, how would I get a Tablet of Flight? That is not terrible. I can get I can get that, right? Do we have Wilden Wings? I do. And I could always do the, the Wilden Ritual to get more Wilden Wings. So here's my thoughts. We could set this up. We could have a couple of them around the base if we need, um, and we would use the uh, the 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 R's uh, relays. There's like the the teleport relay, right? Warper, yeah. That needs a flash lens from Batania and Protochorus. Ooh, that might be a little bit, but I think I can get um, I can get source. Um, I'm probably, I may not need that. What I could do is the source. One of these is like a fluid source, dude, right? Oh, you know what? It's not in, it's not in ours, that's why. Uh, it is in Star Buckle Mania. The fluid source link produces source from fluids, right? So force infused biodiesel, which we pretty much have like a ton of, uh, would be a cool way to go. That could be fun. Right? Or just simple like biodiesel. It doesn't have to be force infused, right? Like just regular old biodiesel produces enough source. We don't need that much, right? Let's make one of these too, right? So let's try it out. So a, a fluid source link would be a force gear, an in-bar ingot, three source gems, and a liquefied source bucket. Seems easy enough to me. So yeah, let's let's see if we can get creative mode flight, and that will make our lives easier for setting up an A system. So that's the plan. Uh, whether that happens or not, I guess, remains to be seen. Do I have enough here to get a bucket? I do. Hooray. Sweet. Okay. Um, do we have force ingots? Probably not. So you're going to need force ingots, which are easy enough to get. Are you gear mode? Nope, but you're about to be. Now, I don't think I'm going to ever need plate mode for him anymore, so I'm just going to leave gears in there. Okay. So, Vitalytic Source Link, Force Gear, Invar Ingot, and three Source Gems. So, Nickel. And Iron. There's that, and then three source gems. And I really should look at making this automated too at some point. Okay, so you, you, one, two, three, and the bucket. May not have enough source nearby. Oh no, I do, hooray. Sweet. Now that'll make liquid source for me, right? Or does that make normal source? No, that just makes normal source. That doesn't make liquid source. So that's kind of cool. So my thoughts are thus, right? If I have a source jar, let's swap these two out because I want to see how this thing works. All right, um, let's get a bucket. Of this. Okay, and again, we'll kind of like center-ish on our platform. Um, you there, you there. Now, do I just like bucket you in? Oh my goodness, that worked. Well, that's cool. Works pretty good, too. Okay. Well, that's neat. And then what I could do is have my ritual dude... Okay. Now, is that giving me flight? Apparently, yes. Cool. Oh, it even gives you it for a minute. That's cool. 
Now, I guess I kind of just want to see like what range that has, right? Because that's my main question at this point. That's not terrible, to be honest with you. It even gives you a full minute of it. That's not bad. And if I run out, I could always just, you know, leap my way home. Um, but I'd be curious, like, what the range of it is. Um, that's the one detail. Do you think it's in my worn notebook? Rituals. And flight. Grants nearby players flight. Uh, I know. Nearby is not is not a number. Nearby is, oh, well, it refreshed from all the way over here, so that's kind of cool. All right, well, I mean, we can just, like, let that thing chill, right? Um, now, now that seems like it's going to, like, constantly run. How are you for, yeah, you shouldn't be a problem. You should be fine. I can make this work. So what I might do then is ender tank this. And, uh, and while I'm at it, I should probably think about automating some of these mechanics as well. Um, ender tanking, because like right now I've been doing a lot of manual like moving force around type stuff, right? Uh, what I should be able to do um, is what I should be able to do is ender tank you to something like this. I don't know if it'll live here. Yeah, I could probably have it live here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that should be doable. Yeah. And then get force turned into force crystals, right? In general, that would be cool. Yeah, like right now I've been doing it over here manually with like a tablet, but that's probably not the best long-term way to go. Or what I could do is just, you know, energize you over here. But I think what I'd do is set it up over there. So yeah, here's my thoughts, right? We automate uh, a few things. That is cool. Creative flight, not bad. It was easier than I thought it would be. Um, and that should make life easier. So we want more ender tanks, right? Ender tanks require aphrod essence, which remember we can get from the Marid protection. Um, now, how are we for Marid uh, or for aphrod essence? So we have a few, but we're definitely going to want more. Because we're going to want ender tanks and a few other things to happen here. We want at least a few ender tanks, right? Um, yeah. I mean, we'll have, a, we'll have a few things. Ender drawers are mana steel and protochorus. Oh, that's doable. Quantum fluid and mineral berries. That's not a problem. Protochorus is easy. That seems real easy. We can, we can make that happen, right? Because we have quantum fluid. And we have mineral berries. Sweet. Okay. But yeah, having having unlimited effort essence might not be a bad idea. But let's start with just getting a couple ender tanks. Is there like a, a quantum assembler can do this too? Well, that's cool. That's cool. We have one of those. We have a quantum assembler. That makes my life a little bit easier. That makes that way easier to automate. So effort essence, quantum mechanism, two ender drawers, and a skystone tank, right? Skystone tank. We have some quantum mechanisms. That's cool. Ender drawers. We can probably add to our to do. So four mana steel plate. Looks like any drawer. And the proto chorus. Do we have any of that? We actually have a little bit of that too. Okay. So I'm going to get these guys. Because that's a little bit easier to get in bulk. Okay. That'll be cool. And then we're going to want some mana steel. Now remember, mana steel is a lot easier for us now. Because um, what we need from mana steel... Is there like a simpler simple? Not really. But we need you, and we need one of each essence. But we have a bunch of them, right? So let's get like 10-ish. Okay. And uh, in addition, we need the drenched steel, which is exceedingly easy to make now. I have that fully, well, relatively fully automated. See, we already have a bunch. Cool. Now, you guys are easy enough to make because you're just earth shards, which, again, we kind of have automated. So we're getting to the point where we can really do some significant automation, and that makes Dyer excited because you know me. 
and automation. Easy peasy. Ta-da! And then you go into there. And what I'm gonna do is get this many. Because the ender drawer was four of those tanks, right? So four tanks, two chorus. And we can easily get more of that as needed, right? So this, this, that. Actually, no, not you. You go there. Right, and then you guys are going to be evenly split. And what goes in the middle for this one? Uh, actually, the protochorus goes in the middle. Not enough source. We can solve that problem. And to be fair, we could totally, like, power this thing with some fluid as well. Could be cool. Yeah, I could see a lot of uses for this, right? Having, uh... All this wirelessness. All right, so you. There we go. Nice. Skystone tank, please. Need more skystone. What's that? Just moonstone? And I do that, and then I can do that. Cool. Looks good to me. Okay. That gets me a little bit. Enough to get a little bit more ender tanking. Sweet. Okay. So we've used ender tanks like what once was it? Um, if I'm not mistaken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna for for biodiesel because we don't need to go like crazy with the source gens. Like the 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 R source doesn't need force infused diesel, right? We can get by with biodiesel on this one, right? So let's just do like, you know, yellow. How about three? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yellow, yellow, yellow should be fine. And that'll be my biodiesel channel, okay? Um, so I'm gonna take you, and we're gonna put you there, and you're gonna get filled up with biodiesel. And that should be cool. And then as an excess, I'll just put you on top. And then we'll have some excesses needed. Right? So now that you've got biodiesel. Okay. You should have no problem. See, we're getting low here. Right? But if I do that. And then do this. Now he's going to drain into there. And he'll constantly produce more source for me. Is that cool? 
I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Super cool, right? I feel like it is. Um, now, why are you red? You shouldn't be red. There's nothing about you that should be red. There we go. Uh, if I wanted this, source relay, source warper. So that's we. So we could either. So will it take any lens? It takes any lens. So that's cool. And a source relay and a proto chorus, which again we can make. So. I have two options now, right? I can either let this thing be, right? And then I could warper it, because these guys let me like teleport source, right? I'm not mistaken. Are they one-to-one? -one? That's what I can't remember. Operate similar to the source relay splitter, but can teleport source an endless distance between other warp relays. For distances beyond 30 blocks, there is a chance that someone will uh, Right, so it works like the splitter. Um, operate similar to source relay, but will support taking from and transferring to multiple jars at once. The splitter has a much larger throughput than the source relay and will split this throughput amongst all its jars. Kind of cool. Okay, that's neat. All right, so that's a thing. So what we can do is we can have you and a splitter if we got multiple splitters, right? And this doesn't have to live here, by the way, this piece of it. So we could like split to this location and, and warp it or uh, we could warp, you know, that elsewhere. So for now, that's kind of cool. But that should be that should be infinite flight for me at this point. Presuming I'm making biodiesel faster than I'm burning through source, which I have to assume I am, right? Like that, there's no way I'm not, right? That I gotta be. Yeah, we're already at eight buckets there, so we should be fine. Sweet. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I really do. I really do. Okay, cool. So now that that's set up, let's look at... Uh, I'm probably going to want to do more Afrit stuff, but we'll see. For now, I'm thinking, do I want that over here? Because where else am I using source? You know what I could do? You know what I could do? Is I could just put this over here. Because that's like the main location where I use source. Right? If I did that, would you be able to support me flying all the way over there? That's like a really good question. Now, am I gonna have to make a new tablet of flight in order to get this to move? I may. I may. Is there a way to get my tablets back? Ah, once activated, your ritual can no longer be augmented and has been consumed permanently. So if I want to do that, um, what I would need to do is make another Wilden ritual. Tablet of Summon Wilden. We've done this before. It's not bad. It's really quite cheap to make at this stage of the game for me. And I could easily make another one of those. Didn't I have another ritual, dude? Guess not. This is where I had set it up, right? So I really don't need you anymore. Or you. What I can do is just replace you with dirt. Okay. Um, and then you could be my Wilden ritual area. And then I can get more Wilden if I need. Because because making that flight, dude, is actually really quite cheap. Yeah, that's totally nothing. As long as we have another... As long as we have enough Wilden dudes, right? Yeah, we have tons of that. So, Lapis... I 
I like this plan. And then we kill a few Wilden. It's the flying Wilden that we really want, right? That one. But as long as we get enough pieces of Wilden, look at these wolves that are like, ooh, sheep. Right? That's cool, right? We got a we got enough drops there that that's worth it, right? So now I can easily make another flight, dude. And then if we moved this whole setup, like granted, now I lose flight, but that's okay. I can manage. Um, what I might do, see, now that I have access to, like, all this new stuff, I want to refactor a bunch of things, change up how everything works. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Um, so hopefully this source jar is close enough to power my rituals if it's right here, right? And then I can have you on top of that, and then I can have you on top of that, and then you can do that again. And then I'll have my ritual dude. So yeah, you're you're actually you're sending to that jar too. So that's cool. So now we've got some extra jars. And then my ritual of flight can chill there. And now I just need to see like, will it reach all the way over to this side of the base? I'll come back in a minute once I find out. Well, I'm gonna say this works. Yeah, definitely. I don't know what the range is, but it's actually surprisingly big. See, anytime I see like a, 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 a ritual like this where I think, oh, it's probably just going to be like a few blocks. So I'd have to like put them all over, but it seems pretty darn big, honestly. Like, uh, it's not terrible. So, hey, that's cool. Creative mode flight. Hooray! All right, so I'm cooking up some charged Certus. Um, so that should be easy. I should have plenty of quartz now. Do I have any charge so just handy? I have a little bit. So that we can start with, right? Now, if we want to make Fluix, uh, that is not terrible. That is just uh, in the Quantum Assembler, we need destabilized redstone, which is that this? No, that's volatile redstone. This is destabilized redstone. Cool. So what I'll do is stick a bucket's worth in there. And then you guys can go hang out and do your thing. Sweet. And you should be getting lots of this. Because you're nice and quick now. Remember I sped that up a couple episodes back? So that'll get me a decent amount of Fluix to get started. Because I want to start with the ME controller, which is going to need eight Fluix blocks and an energy cell. Okay. So I think that's easy enough to do because... Fluix blocks are... Oh, well, look at that. There we go. Sweet. I'll leave that there for now, because I'm going to come back for more. Okay. Now, if I want an energy cell, that should be relatively easy. We will need some... Fluix dust, which I'm just going to go get a stack's worth from my buddy over here. Would you mind, sir? And then finally, I'm going to need 18 skystone block. Cool. I'll let him cook. Meanwhile, Emmy controller, right? So three by three. Uh, and then I assume it's just you with this in the middle. Pretty safe assumption, right? And then to make you go, I need a engineering processor, which I may not have made yet. So that's going to be 
Um, so we need four of those at a time, is that right? And that's just gonna be uh, diamond, conductive, and silicon. We have plenty of diamonds. They're just not in the thing. How about four sets to go with for now? Silicon and conductive. Soldering alloy, we're gonna clearly need more of that. Copper, six tin, and two redstone. Copper, six tin, and two redstone. You know, we don't have a lot of tin. I'll call that a to-do list item. Between episodes. Okay, and then you guys are going to go in here. Three, four, because that's what we need. And then you're going to do your bit. And go. I'm suspecting because the thing wasn't on when I placed the last block. Why do I have so many problems with you? Miniaturization. Skystone block. Is this the wrong kind of skystone? It might be. Skystone blocks is smelted skystone. Okie dokie then. And that's bulk blasting as an option. So we'll just do this with a little bit of that. Doki, now you can go. Hooray! It works! So, step one, Emmy controller, good to go. Hooray! And that's a quest complete. Nice. Yeah, we should definitely be uh, making sure that we're taking advantage of all the questy things over here. Though I think that's it for uh, digital, huh? Yeah. Unless I went into QIO drives, which is, uh, which is, which is, Mechanisms, but does mechanism have auto crafting? I don't know that it does. See, I like, I want something that can auto craft. That's the whole reason I'm, I'm kind of going this route. Um, all right, cool. So that gets us an ME controller, which is a great, great first step, right? Um, I'm gonna take you guys. I'm gonna make more fluix real quick. Easy peasy. Look at how great that works. And what we should have is another tank here. I've said it before, but I'll say it again. My trick is that when you have like this little tiny bit of stuff left out, you can just use a empty tank here and you know make it make it do its thing. All right, so you go away, you go away, and then I can scoop that out and put it in there, and now we're empty and empty, and we can use this for whatever else. Cool. All right, so that gets all that done. So let's wrap up the episode here. We got flight. We got um teleporting uh biofuel right biodiesel that'll be good uh that'll keep all this stuff pretty much running all the time and keep my flight ritual running all the time then let's come back next time and um you know what would be cool too is if i put another tank here then we could have it constantly keeping this thing lit and producing just saying anyway ah. Uh, Let's wrap up here. Yeah, we'll come back next time. And what we'll do is we'll get an A system fully up and running. We're going to want a storage bus. Did I put one here? I don't know that I did. And what I want to do is try attaching the storage bus to the occultism system. And maybe even upgrade the occultism system. We can get up to four tier threes at this point. Uh, that shouldn't be too impossible. So we'll do that next episode. For now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.